Hello everyone. Good morning. It is Monday, October 2nd, 2023. Um, I am back. I came back yesterday, October 1st, Sunday. So I am back. I am back. I'm back. I had a beautiful, wonderful, great time. I am still off work. I go back to work tomorrow. But I had a blast, you all. It was the most relaxing, <clears throat> beautiful trip. I definitely would go back to Myrtle Beach because I did not see everything that I wanted to see. I would have liked to have seen much, much more, but we were there for such a short time. And my friend who put the trip together, you know, she just didn't know, you know, like, she didn't know that she could have, should have probably extended a little bit longer. Hold on one second. It is an ambulance coming through. So, yeah, it was a beautiful time. Had a beautiful trip. Like I said, it was very relaxing. The beach was just gorgeous. The resort that we stayed in was beautiful. Our room was beautiful. I had a good time. I really did. The only stressful thing about the trip um, was that um, um, was the uh, airport. The airport is just it's just stressful. The airport is always stressful. Um, so yeah, that was stressful, you know, trying to find a gate and all the stuff you got to go through. I hate that they make you take your shoes off, but I always have on socks, but they make you take your shoes off, um, you know, so, um, I'm looking forward to another trip. Honestly, I am, but the airport is just all that walk into this gate, that gate. I did get a wheelchair, um, coming back going I didn't but coming back I did my knee was really really hurt me um this other knee that I need should, that I should have had surgery on was really hurting so I got a wheelchair coming back and that was cool um so that helped a lot and then um the other thing that's going on that I'm I'm stressed about and kind of annoyed about is that my bathroom now y'all don't remember it was my bedroom right okay so now it's my bathroom so I, my whole bathroom is being redone and he thought that he would be d done with it uh, we decided to do it in the time frame that I would be gone so that Chris and I wouldn't be in his way he ain't done he ain't done so my bathroom is still jacked up I'm going to my house now. That's where I'm on my way to. Just left my mama's house. Had to spend a night in my mother's house. And my leg is really, really hurting. It's just burning. I don't know if I pulled a muscle. Her couch is not comfortable to lay on. But I didn't have no other choice. So, don't have no toilet. So, hopefully, hopefully, um, he will be done uh, today. And hopefully I can go back home today. I am hoping that I can go back home today. So that's what's going on with that. And you know, the apartment is so old. The building is, I think he said that building was built in 1925, I think he said. And you know, it's old. But this is what happens when you don't come up and inspect things in our apartment to see what needs to be redid. And then when you pull the shit up, you run into all of these motherfucking problems because you ain't you ain't came and you know check things out. That's why you need to do an inspection. I'm just so goddamn pissed. Y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know. I wanted to get home last night, take me a shower. Um, had to take a shower at my mama's house. My mama, something wrong with my mama's shower. So, it, I wanted to lay in my four thousand dollar bed that I just bought, and I ain't bragging, but goddamn, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got the bed. 
and that's another thing. I need to call Mattress Firm because before I left, two things popped out of the bed, off of the bed. And I don't know what those two, th I, I have the things that came off, but I need to call them and ask them, can they come out Saturday? So I need to make sure I do that today. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I was just, I'm just pissed. I'm just pissed that I can't be in my own freaking fracking bed. Oh, <sighs> just so pissed about that. But anywho, um, hopefully he'll be done. And I told my landlord, I said, I said, I'm not, I'm not finna do this no whole week. I was out of my apartment two weeks when it was the bedroom. He was like, no, no, we gonna have it done by Tuesday. We gonna have it done by Tuesday. He started on a Thursday. I left Thursday. He started on a Thursday. I had been gone a little bit longer, you know, um, just a little bit longer, he would have been able to really, you know, finish it before I came back. <sighs> I'm just so annoyed. But he's like, you gonna have a whole brand new bathroom? Yeah, well, I should because I've been telling your, I told his mother, when his mother was the landlord, I told his mother how that sink would leak. So all of that, all of that around that is just cracked. You know, it's cracked. It's a mess. It's a mess. You know, it is just a mess. A complete mess. <sighs> and he's kept my he, you know, I didn't have nobody to watch to, to feed my cats. So he did that. I paid him a hundred dollars to feed the cats for four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, you know, for him to be up there to look uh, to finish the bathroom but like I said it's always a goddamn problem so apparently um, come on lady come on lady come on so um, apparently um, when he went to open up the column the toilet where the toilet sits on when he went to open that up some column or something was broke. So they had to repair that. This hair got on my nerve too. I like this hair, but it, just, it has gotten on my nerve. It has really gotten on my nerve. And um, so they had to fix that. So they fixed the column. That He said it was something all the way down to the other apartment. They had to fix that. Cause I had told him, I said, I don't want no low, low, no, um, I don't want no low, low toilet, you know, because it's that a low, low toilet. That's, I, that's too hard for me to get up off of, you know, and, and my knees are bad from doing a labor job for the last 10 years. So I need something, you know, not like a handicapped toilet, but you all know what I'm saying. Something that, that you, it's not, I hate low toilets. I just, I don't like low toilets. So I had already told them that. But originally, what he was only supposed to be doing was, was taking out the sink because the sink has been leaking. The faucet don't work. You know, the faucet, it leaks. And then when you brush your teeth or wash your face, the, the water runs off of the sink down onto the floor. And that's what I have been telling them for years about. Nobody ever did nothing. Now you got this water damage. So some, some kind of column, when he took the toilet up, because the last guy who put a put me a toilet in he put a board up under there and he, obviously he didn't do it right and so this is what happens when you patching stuff patching stuff trying to be cheap sometimes you can't keep patching shit you got to take it out and you got to do it the right way just do it the right way and then you inconvenience your tenant and I told him I said what if I didn't have nowhere to go where, what if I didn't have nowhere to go? You know, you would inconvenience me for two weeks with the bedroom. Now you would inconvenience to me that I can't I, I, I can't be there because I don't have a toilet to use the bathroom or wash my face or take a shower. <sighs> I just I'm annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed. 
And you don't know how much you miss your stuff or miss being in your space until you ain't there. Yeah, you man, somebody. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say was that despite coming home to that, which I haven't been home, I'm going home now, but talking to them both on the phone yesterday, despite that, I had a marvelous time. I have no complaints about the trip at all. I just don't like traveling through the airport. I really don't like flying. When we landed in Myrtle Beach Thursday, <clears throat> Um, my ear was really, really hurting this one here. But I've been having problems with this ear anyway. I had an ear infection in this ear not too long ago. And this ear just still give me problems from that ear infection. I've had COVID three times and this same ear always bothered me. Same one. Um, so my ear hurt coming down. And that's unusual because usually I don't have that problem. But my ear hurt. So I got me some gum on the way back. And it wasn't as bad. Um, the other thing I didn't like uh, talking about the airport was that I had a connecting flight. And I wish now that I had... Uh, pulling up to my house now. I wish now that I had just did a um, straight flight. Just got up early and just did a straight flight. So we had to fly into from Myrtle Beach to St. Louis. And then we had to um, fly from St. Louis into Chicago, which wasn't bad. Because St. Louis and Chicago is right there together. So that wasn't bad, you know. So... Like I said, I had a glorious time. I had a good time. Um, I definitely want to go back. I definitely want to go back. And I hope I am able to do that. So, um, I did vlog the trip. And um, it's being uploaded now on YouTube. And it's probably going to take a while. So I just want y'all to know it's a little long. So, you know, I hope you watch it. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but I hope you do watch it. I had a great time. If you've never been to Myrtle Beach, go. I think you would really, really like it. Relaxing. The people there were really friendly. The food was really good. We went to this all-you-could-eat um, uh, seafood um, buffet. Child, I almost hurt myself up in there. I ate so many doggone crab legs. Woo, I ate so many crab legs. It was good. It was really, really good. Really good. Um, so yeah. <sighs> so anywho, y'all, I'm getting ready to go in here. Go in here and see what's going on with this apartment with my cats and um i will be back on here tomorrow to talk to you all like i always do going to work i go back to work tomorrow okay all right y'all um i'll see you real soon and like i said i did vlog the um the trip but i am back and um i'm glad to be back but not glad to be back if that, that may make sense, may not make any sense. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, glad to be home, but not glad to be home. <sighs> Gotta walk up these three flights of steps. I didn't bring a whole bunch of stuff with me. Chris gonna take my suitcase up. Um, but I have everything in these packing cubes, so, yeah. Okay, y'all. Thank you all so much. And um, I put up a short video of me with the swimsuit on. And somebody said something negative or nasty or whatever. I don't know why you all come on people's videos and be negative. When you can just pass it on by. I don't know what that's all about. But, you know, I gave you the middle finger. And you know what the middle finger means. So, there you go. Anywho, y'all. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.